Hi everyone, welcome to the first lecture of SAP Controlling MediG. Be a pro in 7 days, a practical approach of learning and configuration of controlling. Conceptualized of SAP Controlling is as important as its use in the real world. It is very important to understand how we use overhead management component of controlling. The controlling overhead management or COM helps you to plan, allocate, control and monitor overhead in your organization. By planning in overhead areas, you can develop standards that allows you to control cost and evaluate internal activities. Key component of overhead management Cost Center Accounting, Internal Radar, Cost Element Accounting Cost Center Accounting As the word says, it analyzes where overhead occurs within the organization. Costs are assigned to the sub-area of organization where they originated. SAP offers a wide variety of methods for allocating posted amounts and quantities. Internal Order Accounting Internal orders collect analyze cost based on individual internal job, which means there will be a specific project or specific job which we want to use internal order. For example, cost center will be like a permanent. Internal order will be like temporary. For example, if we want to uh, build a build an office wall or office furniture, we don't want to have a specific cost center assigned to it probably we because that that might be an internal order which will be like for one month 15 days we'll, we'll learn a little bit more about internal order in in upcoming lectures so sap can monitor and automatically check budgets assigned to each job cost element accounting cost and L Cost and revenue element accounting details which cost and revenues have been incurred. Accurate is calculated here for values and differences and additional cost. Cost accounting and financial accounting are also reconciled in cost element accounting. This means that the task of a cost and revenue element accounting stretches beyond the bounds of overhead cost controlling. Let's figure it out in a scenario. In this slide, we see salary, wages, electricity, depreciation, travel, other, and total costs in a profit and loss account. This profit and loss account, what information it provides us? Mayug Inc. has incurred total expense of 60,000. Individual heads of expenses like salary, wages, depreciation, etc. These expenses are from general ledger. Like anything, we post a cost, we post to account. So we, we have like salary account. We got 6,000. Okay, salary account has been uh, uh, 6,000 credits. Wages has 25,000. Electricity, depreciation, travel, everything. So we, we get these value 60,000 from does it so? Who takes salary? How much salary accounting department took? What is the manufacturing? department took salary or wages who consumed electricity this doesn't show a detailed label of expenses assuming each and every company will have a budget and this company had a budget of 50,000 so we are now over budget of 60,000 so how do we know who spent those 10,000 more let's see what overhead management adds to an organization SAP over manage management like we saw last slide where we have salary wages travel and other 60,000 and see now over management it exactly so us like salary 2,000 for manufacturing 3,000 for marketing 1,000 for finance now we know which division has taken how much salary or consumables or travel or others assuming the budget of 50,000 divided between the three departments 
Now we know which department has over exceeded their budget in respective heads of expenses like salary, wages and consumables. So this gives us little more information about divisions or department wise planning or costing. Key points. Overhead cost component enables you to plan, allocate, control and monitor overhead cost. It is an important preparation for strong profitability analysis as well as precise product costing. These are two different sub modules of controlling and those are huge modules. By planning in overhead area you can specify standards that enable you to control cost and evaluate internal activities. Along with time-saving automatic allocation, the integration of overhead cost controlling in the SAP environment minimizes entry of actual data and reduce the work involved in planning. So these are few key points. We'll learn more about overhead management in upcoming lectures.